I'm Coach Dan Fisher. You're watching The Fish Report. Hey, Panther Nation. Welcome to this week's Fish Report. We are joined by senior Emmy Klicka. Welcome to the show. I'm excited to be here. We are wrapping up our pre-conference schedule and then starting ACC schedule, and we're gonna talk about that primarily on this show. But first, Emmy, why don't you tell the volleyball fans out there something that not many people know about you? Something that not many people know about me? I hate spicy food, and I don't even put pepper on anything because it's too spicy for me. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you the same question, Fish. What is something that no one knows about you? Well, I did know that about you because of our guacamole contest we had. You were, she was in the low spice group. Had to. Um, Something few people know about me is I once won a car in a golf tournament by getting a hole in one. Wow, that's impressive. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Now Long I do. Long time ago. Yeah. So back to the task at hand, we had three big wins over some great competition. And obviously the, the big one was Penn State. It was a crazy environment. Why don't you maybe share a couple stories, you know, just so the fans know what it was like being in the locker room, what it was like being on the court. Yeah. Well, first of all, the attendance was amazing. The support we felt from the students and the city was unreal. Um, the main story I remember is just walking out of the locker room through the tunnel onto the court before warm-ups and I got chills like hearing everyone cheer for us coming out, uh, which was amazing. And then um, the whole team waiting in the locker room after the win for the coaching staff to come in. And once they entered, we all just had like this big like cheer together. It was um, really special. Do you remember digging every single ball? <laughs> I remember. I mean, I but one, I guess you blew one. <laughs> I <there>. did. <laughs> I, I do. And the cool thing is like, with that many people in the crowd, every time I would make a play, you just hear like this roar of like excitement. Um, it was it was a cool feeling. Well, well done, and it, it was I think one of her best defensive performances. So it was fun to be a part of that. Yeah. Now we're heading into conference play this weekend, and we have three new teams entering the ACC. And I just want to know, Fish, what are your thoughts on those three teams and how it's benefiting our conference? Yeah, well, we knew that um, we were adding three good teams, and uh, clearly we thought Stanford would be a top 10, top 25. And um, so I've been saying for a long time that we're the strongest volleyball conference in the country. Um, but probably I don't think I realized how good SMU is going to be, and um, they really had a, a great pre-conference. and. Um, and, and had a big crowd there too. So I think not only have, you know, we've gotten two really, really, really strong teams added and, and two great environments to play in. And so let's wrap it up with, you know, what's coming up next. We have UMBC tomorrow night, 5 p.m. Uh, we've had great midweek crowds, so there's still some tickets available, so hurry and get them. And then we're off to play Clemson and Georgia Tech, two very good opponents that were, you know, Clemson's going to have a new arena. And we know Georgia Tech, of course, will be a very loud place to play. Um, thoughts going into uh, the first ACC road trip? Yeah, so I've played at Georgia Tech twice now, and the gym is smaller and they bring a lot of fans. It's sold out crowd. They're super energetic, super loud. So it's always fun to play there. Um, it's, not, it's a little different from the Pete, it's not as big, so the fans are kind of on top of you, but it's always fun to be in that type of environment, and last year we uh, had success there, so hoping to do it again this year. Well, great job on the show. Thanks again for being here. Lots more to come this season, so let's keep it up, and thanks everyone for tuning in to this week's Fish Report.